All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 16. We're in the same place as we were before, but we're going to travel over to Ecria as we look for Lore, see if she's returned or not. Perhaps she has, perhaps she hasn't. We gotta talk to Shar Varana. Now that Lore's returned, so she has returned. Greetings, Glider. We don't know what you said to her, Glider, but we're grateful that you said it. Lore has returned with renewed passion, and we credit you, so thank you, Glider, and be safe. Farewell, Glider. Chat about the weather. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what quest. Alright, so here uh, we plan on going to the whale. Um. And seeing if we can't figure out what the uh, ring artifacts are for. Now, I'm not even close, but uh, we're going to make a solid attempt, right? So we got to go to the whale and talk to Saren for a bit. Um, and what we're going to find out is, eventually, um, that sometimes the rings um, on the panel just kind of glitch out a little bit, more or less. Um, essentially, the idea is when you go to a ship that has a Saren in it, right, um, that door that leads to Saren needs to remain open and green. Um, we're just running around Seventh and Sister Station because I feel like I missed something. and I didn't see all there was to see, which... Probably did. Probably didn't. Um, so we're going to talk to Saren for a fat minute. Seeing if we can, like, pick up on any of the lore. Trying to figure out, like, hey, what's this? What's that do? Did I miss something when I was just reading it? No. I didn't. But that's okay. Um, and also, once you've visited all the Saren terminals... And you've left the doors open. All of them will remain green. But if you close the doors, but you've still visited the Saren terminals, all six of them, you get the bike. So we got the bike. We just some of the doors we didn't leave open because we must have taken like um, the little power module out and it closed the door. So it's simple as that. Um, I spent time running around trying to figure it out before I eventually, of course, looked it up. Because I was like, I, I love trying to figure something out, but I know when I'm stumped and I'm not going to spend like days or weeks trying to figure something out. If I don't know it and I know I'm not going to figure it out, I'm, I'm just going to look it up. And sometimes it saves me t time. Sometimes it lets me know like, hey, should have trusted your gut. You're right on the money. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to run around for a bit. By a bit, I mean about what looks like maybe... 10 minutes? 15 minutes? No, wait, way too high. Five minutes. Like six, like seven minutes max. Just run around, back through ships I've already been in, trying to figure out what I missed, what I've done wrong, trying to get all of it to light up green. Um, yeah. Alright, enjoy.
Oh, I... Uh... Oh, back to the Bridge of the Trade. I, I realized I never opened... Uh... That mask room. I don't think I did it, at least. Which I believe is up there. She won't answer my call. I'm just out here right now because I'm trying to think like what the artifacts are for exactly. I was thinking maybe like, oh, those are the terraformers, you know. So we might have to go back to one of them just to see like what's going on. So I'm not. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't want to Google it just yet. I will if I can't figure it out. But I'm gonna give it a. A very solid try. Whoops, I am not paying attention. It is uh, snowing outside right now. It has not stopped snowing outside. Okay, so things get a little crazy here, but it calms down in a second, so just give it a moment. Um, when the swords cross, you gotta be standing in front of the statue, right? But not directly in front of it, you gotta stand on the little monument thingy until around 8 in the morning. Okay, so this segment sped up by about nearly 4,000% because uh, I had to stand here waiting all day through the night into the next morning. Um, I did have to look it up because I was unsure if I was right, and it turns out I was, and I didn't want to spend actual hours 
just standing there. Um, yeah. Oh, thank God. Thought so. So, I looked up the ring thing as well, because uh, once I found the answer, I was like, there's no way I would have figured that out. We're looking... I don't know what the device is. I didn't look at the picture. I just looked up what I'm supposed to do. Somewhere towards the center of the map, there's a device of sorts that I gotta plug it into. And hey, two more. Um... So, let's look around, I guess. Okay, so I just want to throw this in here. Quite a bit of driving. Uh, something like four minutes of driving around trying to find this. If you want to skip four minutes of finding nothing, um, you can just skip right over to minute 23, um, and that'll be right at the end of this. Other than that, uh, enjoy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know.
Mysterious shrine. Wait, that looks like an angler's boat. It's got no angler on it. There's a person here. Every time I meet another machinist, my mind wanders back to Cizo. I wonder if she's hearing of my travels through whatever network connects her grid. I wonder if she's proud. Think of her now as I greet the stranger. Oh, I love meeting gliders. Come here, come here. What's your name? I approach and tell her I'm Sable. Sable. Sounds a lot like Table. You get that a lot? This is the first time. Really? First thing I thought of. First thing. Anyhow, name's Fur. Like fear, right? I mean, I guess. Anyway, I didn't call you over here to talk rhymes. I call you over here to show something you are going to love. Pretty deep into historical stuff. Ruins, old timey ships, the old books, all the old monumental leftovers, you know? I know it. Well, recently I've deciphered a few monumental texts which point to some sort of s synergistic structures positioned all across the world in all different deserts. I mean that the test suggests that they're responsive. More than simply statues or slabs of rock or whatever their form, the test suggests they record data or somehow interact with people. But I think there's something else, something way more fun. I think they're a game. See? We have this thing everyone does, where we look to the past and we all assume we're all working no play, because all we see, all that persists, is their labor, ships and logs and tools and things. But fun, fun is ephemeral. Jokes disappear, doodles get lost, while art survives. So we so we lose it all and we go on assuming they never had any. So if you've got the time and inclination glider, I'd recommend you keep your eyes open for monumental architecture that seems suspicious or strange. I'd say a glider on a bike's perfect person to test my theory if you're up for it. Sounds fun. Good, thank you. Uh, she called me table. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're doing it. What happens now? You're a lifesaver, Sable. It's all the inscriptions. The first two suggest they might be instructions to build something, I think, but the third part seems to be where the good stuff. Uh, the why and what of it all. Why are we building this and what are we building? I suspect that this is a bit of a treasure hunt. Are you meant to... Um, mind get, give me a few days or can I correct this soon? Uh, thank you all for watching episode 16 of our Sable playthrough. And I will see you guys in the next one when we hopefully figure out the rest of this puzzle. Alright, bye.